Cassidy with no jump start this time. Yes, it looked like it to me. And this time it's Martinson and Shanker. And Martinson goes into the lead momentarily, only for Shanker to bump him, go down, tumble downhill. Shanker leads, Martinson second. And in third position is Will Gollum. And Mark Brennison is up into fourth position. After a terrific start, Mark Renison, the British champion, is up into fourth place. There is the leader, number 11, Martin Shanker, four and a half lap race. Martinson in the BMW is in second place. Will Gollop in the MG Metro is third. Behind him is Mark Renison. And then it is John Smith in fifth place. And look at the way Gollop closes up on Martinson as they go into Hobby's drop for the first time. And there is Renison, right up, right up with Gollop. Oh, Mark Renison is driving a fabulous race, but so is Gollop. And Martin Schenker is in control at the moment. The Norwegian, four-times European champion, knows exactly what he's got to do. Is he going to be the first man ever to have won the British Grand Prix twice? What a scrap for second. Martinson, Gollop, number three in the Metro, 6R4. Behind Gollop is Renison in fourth place and behind Renison the British driver John Smith and Gollum fairly throwing the Metro about three British drivers in the top five and there's one of them number three in third position Will Gollum with three laps to go and all the time Martin Shanker is pulling away he now has a lead over Martinson of one and a half seconds doesn't sound much but it's a lot there it is visually Gollum second Will Gollop up into second place. Now, I'll give you the gap between Martin Shanker, the leader, and Will Gollop as they go through the chicane. It is 1.8 seconds. Will Gollop, earlier this season, won in his MG Metro for the Dutch Rally Cross Grand Prix. If he won in Britain, it would be an absolutely incredible achievement. Will Gollop, he used to drive a Saab. This is a new car which has been specially built for this event. 440 non-turbocharged horsepower. And if he rattles Martin Schenker, the Norwegian might go off. The gap is coming down. You can see visually that Gollop in this terrific race is closing on Schenker. And if Schenker gets rattled, no, nope, no. Nope. Oh, bad. The crowd is going bad, and rightly so, from Whitstable. Will Gollum has taken the lead from Martin Shanker, Mr. Rally Cross himself. You, I, you'll see the crowd in a minute, and they are going berserk with enjoyment. There is the reason Will Gollum in the MG Metro 6R4 leads, and Mark Renison is now in third position. Martin Shanker is second. Now, there is Shanker, and you can see the Renison in the blue and white DSRM Ford RS200 is closing up on Shanker. Are we going to have British drivers first and second? This is the last lap. Oh, what a race. Will Gollop, number three. Then Shanker, the Norwegian. And this is Renison's chance as Gollop goes through the chicane for the last time. And Martinson is right up with Dan Renison. Look at the crowd. Gollop. Oh, down, tumble downhill for the last time goes Will Gollop into the S's and Renison is second. Renison second. British drivers first and second. What a famous victory this is going to be. And here is the man who's going to have it if he can just hang on. Round Druids, he's got a flat tyre. He's got a flat tyre when Renison can win. This is fantastic. Renison closing up, but Gollum wins. Renison second, Shanker third, and Martinson fourth. Well, I have seen some exciting races in my life, but Will Gollum has beat all of them. And look at this. Will Gollop, with a left rear tyre as flat as a pancake, has won the motor-equipped British Rallycross Grand Prix, and he's the seventh driver in seven years to win. 
And as far as the British crowd is concerned, the best of a series of magnificent wins over the year. Well, Will won in Holland. He's won in Britain. He has done his sponsorship deals for 1989, and I'm sure everybody here, and there's an enormous crowd of Franz Hatch, will be as delighted, frankly, as I am.